Hello, in this presentation we will be taking a look at a income and expense graph within QuickBooks Pro 2018. If you've been following along with us, we will be continuing with the Get Great Guitars. If not, that's okay. We will be looking at an income and expense graph. If you have the backup file, you can restore that by selecting the file and backup. We currently have the open windows list open, which you can find at the view and open window list and the company homepage open at company and home page. We're going to make an income and expense graph. In order to do that, we were going to select the reports drop down and we're going to do this from the report center. So we're going to select the report center at the top. Here is the report center. We want to be on the standard tab. We currently have the view in terms of the little icon view, the grid view, as they say. And we are in the company and financial section. We're going to scroll down and just find the graphing areas within the company and financial section. Scrolling down, we have the profit and loss information. We have the income and expenses next subcategory. Scrolling down through the income and expenses, we see the income and expense graph. So give us a nice visual of the income and expenses. We're going to go ahead and just run this report like so. Run the graph. And I'm going to maximize the screen here. And you'll note that nothing is here, which is a bit uh, disturbing, disturbing. But we're going to go ahead and select the date range and change the date range from 0101212. We're going to make it uh, 022821 or January 1st, 2021 to February 28th, 2021. We're going to select OK. And here is going to be our graph for this two months. A bar graph format showing us the total sales. And then, and this of course is going to be the income and expenses over here. And then we have the pie chart showing the total over here. And then giving us the expenses where we have the payroll expense, the cost of goods sale, sold, utilities, insurance, depreciation in this format. Payroll by far being the largest expense at this time. The total expenses here, the 20613 should tie out to the total expenses on the profit and loss. If we wanted to check that out, we can go to the reports, scroll down to company and financial and profit and loss. Change the date range from 010121 to uh, 022821, January 1st, 2021 to December 28th, 2021. And if we look down at the expenses, We've got uh, the 16663.48. If we go back to our graph, uh, we have the 20. Why? Because we're also including the cost of goods sold here, which is uh, an expense as well. Let's see if we can add those two up and look at the total. We've got the 16663.48 and the cost of goods sold at... 3950 that should be the 20,613 that's going to be our graph here so it's important to note that when we are presenting this information because we want to know there's a nice visual we also want to know how they tie out to the financial statements so that's going to how this is going to tie out note when we don't see anything to export this to excel and the printing options are a little bit different in that we don't have a print to a pdf file option and therefore we could still print to a PDF or we can screenshot it and so and put it into a presentation in that format. So let's look at those two options first. We're going to go to the print and I'm going to change the printer to this cute PDF printer. This could be downloaded uh, and that way if you don't have the, the save as a PDF option in this program or any program, however, you do have a print option. This is a great way to save it as a PDF. So we'll go ahead and save that. And then we'll get the uh, option to save it as a PDF. And I'm going to call this expense uh, graph here and just save that to the location I am at. That's where we want it. And if we were to open that up, then uh, it would look something like this. So here's our graph. Uh, clearly, it doesn't have uh, some of the options in terms of color and whatnot. So if we wanted to put it into a PowerPoint, we would probably want to have a color scheme in there. And I suggest using something like Word to put that in there or a PowerPoint, obviously. 
and then going into the insert and screenshot and that'll give you if you select the screen clipping you can get a clipping of just what you want if we just want uh, this item over here and we want the clipping that's something that you can easily put into your presentation in that format that could be very useful now it is possible to convert this graph it is an income and expense to not showing the expense here but the uh, income if we go to the income side of this item here now we have the income and it's it's in uh, income by account so we have the services the merchandise the rent uh, and the interest income being the groupings of income that we have so most of our incomes from the service uh, followed by merchandise and then rent uh, so that's going to be this item and it's by account right now we could switch it to by customer as well let's go ahead and print this out so we're going to do the same thing i'm going to go to reports or i'm going to go to printing up top we're going to select the pdf printer and go ahead and print that and we'll call this the income graph we'll save that as the income graph and it'll look something like this as a PDF again that's just to give us an idea of how to set up those PDFs really can be useful to use something like that if we were to see this in terms of by customer we would see it by customer and uh, here we are the the music store stuff the lynn uh, and the jill the uh, jenny in terms of our customers by income and so this is going to be this information again i'll go ahead and print this one out as well so we have them all there and print and we're going to say that this one is going to be again i should probably be more specific income graph by customer so that will be this item if we were to look that up it would be here and and again i would i would recommend using uh word and clipping these or or doing this in a powerpoint presentation so you can so you can clip this information and uh, put it where you would like and that once again is in the insert clipping you got to make sure to have the other window open uh or the prior window that you had open and it's just if you could choose this screen but then you got to crop it and let's do it that way this time if we choose this screen notice you you have the, all this information here and uh, if that's the case you probably don't want this on the side and this on the top and so you could crop it and this is what we used to have to do all the time before we had that that's um that snippet type feature <laughs> so if we go ahead and crop it we're going to go into the picture tools format and then size and crop this information and then you could just take these little handles and crop them to whatever we think is appropriate such as that and then we have a nice little image there and that will uh, work for us and that's another way that we can we can uh, get this this information to uh, export and work for us within a presentation